Okay, Garmin, stop recording. Hi, this is Chess with Synthetic Warehouse. Today, uh, this has to do with a Volkswagen Jetta. Uh, the trunk latch, when you hit the button over in the map pocket to open it up, it actuates this little servo that uh, pushes a plunger out that pushes the uh, locking mechanism, just like if, as if you put the key in into the latch. Well, these go out, these break. Uh, it's fairly common for things to go wrong. There's several different types, but this is a common one. This came off of an 05 Jetta. And uh, first I looked up online to see what it was going to take to replace it. And they go for about $27 to $45. And I was just about to order one, but I thought, you know what? I want to get that latch working now. And uh, I want to see how it works. What happened was it got stuck in the open position. So this little plunger here was sticking out and it got wedged in there. So I'm going to show you how I fixed it. Just in summary, there's a, I didn't know what it looked like. So when I open it up, this sprung, I'll show you. I've got a piece of video I'll plug in here so you can see. Just gonna, let me pop this out so you can see what the whole unit looks like here. There we go. Very simply, pops out. If you let go of this, it'll unwind itself. Ooh, just like that. But don't worry because I thought that it would be impossible to put this back together. It wasn't so tough. But there's a spring in there that just exploded like a clock spring. But don't be intimidated because it was actually easy. It took me two minutes to wind it up and put it back in. The little plunger itself works just like it's the winder on its own. So we're going to take a look. First step to open it up is a small thin very strong this is like a carbide tip screwdriver I bought these at a place called Max Hardware these are a, a set made in Germany very durable hard screwdrivers and you will see these little tabs it's impossible to push them in and pop this thing out but it's not a very strong unit and just by prying in certain places it actually will pop open it takes a couple of tries hopefully you there we go. I think I got oh, just one little spot right there. Okay, now when I first popped this open, there's a spring in here that came apart. So this is the unit, and there was this dry putty silicone stuff in here. And what I did was I used the uh, our calcium based uh, multi-purpose grease it's got some water resistance and everything so this ought to stick stay in there forever I just put a very small glaze to prevent that problem but what what will happen is when you pull this out it all the spring will uh, just shoot open but let me show you what to uh, what to look for basically you got this very strong 12 volt torquey motor electric motor in here and you can see the little gears that it moves and it when you hit the button in an instant it just winds up this uh, gear that and the drive is on a worm gear so it pushes that out I've seen a lot of other things like this so it's extended all the way and that's where it was stuck it was that little cap stand was wedged in here somehow when I took the lid off it didn't instantly pop back until I moved this thing around it was it was stuck so anyway, when you let go, watch this. And here's the secret. I'm going to pull this thing out. You can see how it works here. So you need to just grab this little lip, edge it out just a little bit, and then help it with this piece. And then the whole unit comes out just like this here. So I'm going to let it unwind. There we go. And when you pull out you'll see this spring unit so it's just like a clock whoops and notice the top versus the bottom the top you'll see the spring the shiny part when you put it back together that faces up by the way but it, I, when I first saw that it, it sprung out and I was like uh oh but it only took me two minutes to wind that back up and this piece right here acts as the tool to wind the spring back up but what I found out is when you put this in, you need to wind it two full turns. There's one and two. If you do any more, 
it won't allow this to come out all the way and if you don't do it enough the spring doesn't have enough uh, torque to pull the plunger back in all the way uh, there you go I put some grease there in the bottom so it's very simple there's a groove in here it'll slide right through the groove and just like I said earlier remember that the shiny part of that spring points up towards you now let's test it let's make sure the plunger because I might have put it in wrong let's make sure the plunger does go out all the way I'm winding up that gear again these are 20 to 45 bucks so just doing this will save you that much money yeah I can see inside it's at the end of the guide uh, if you can't wind it up anymore it won't let you go past uh, this point so there we go and then when you plug it in you sh and you should be able to hit the switch before you hook it up and spend all that time doing that to test it the last thing you don't want to forget these came in the unit these are the actual tie downs uh, the cap stands with the threaded area for the screws so make sure you put those back in the base of the unit and the screws will hold it on on the other side put the lid back on it all snaps right back into place you just gotta make sure that these posts are aligned right in here and then when you snap it together you just gotta make sure that that uh, piston is corrected there you go and there that's the whole thing it's completely repaired uh, when I turn off the video here, I'm just going to go plug it into the car and hit the button and see that that work the way it's supposed to. Uh, but that's it. A Volkswagen Jetta, probably Audi and Skoda, Skoda models. Uh, probably 2001 all the way to the new ones. I've seen, like I say, there's three or four different ones. Uh, have yourself some handy Amsoil grease. It's tough stuff. Of all the Amsoil products you've probably heard of, Believe it or not, the grease is the most advanced. There's more technology in the grease than any other product that they make. And that really is saying a lot right there. If you own a boat trailer especially, you need that. But anyway, this, uh, as you can see, it only took me about uh, five minutes to repair. And uh, again, it's worth that to save 25 bucks or so. So uh, subscribe to our channel. We'll be doing a lot more of these little handy things now that I've got a nice garage to do it in. So thanks a lot, and I hope you liked the video.